Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 11.3, one-way non-parametric ANOVA, sometimes called the kruskal wallis test. It also includes 11.4, post hoc testing following a non-parametric one-way ANOVA. This test asks if three or more independent data samples can be considered to be samples from a common population. A significant result indicates that this is unlikely and a post hoc test can be carried out to identify which samples vary to such an extent from each other that they can be considered to come from different populations. This test is a non-parametric test. If you do not understand what this means then please see my screencast Is My Data Normally Distributed? In the example we are using here, eight quadrats were sampled for the number of daisy plants growing in four distinct grassed areas with different uses at the University of Worcester. These areas were the cricket pitch, the lawn, the quadrangle and the rugby pitch. The data can be found in table 11.4. I have already entered the data into Minitab. Column 1 contains the data stating the number of Bellis perennis or daisy plants found in each quadrat. Column 2 states the location of the quadrat. This is our factor. A factor is a variable that we can use to divide our main data set, which is column 1, into separate samples. As you can see, as we go down, we have those samples of the cricket pitch, followed by the lawn, the quadrangle, and then the rugby pitch. To perform the test, go up to Stat and click. Go down to Non-Parametric, a sub-menu opens, and track down to Kruskal Wallis, and click. Now to tell Minitab the variables we're going to use. I'm going to click in the Response Variable window. It gives me my options, in this case, column 1 the number of Bellis perennis plants, I'm going to select that and then press the select button. Now I need to tell it the factor that I'm going to divide my main data up with. In this case it's C2, location, I'm going to select it, press select and it's entered into the factor box. I'm now going to press OK. As you can see we now have an output. The H statistic is 14.51, the p-value is 0 0.002, adjusted for ties. So what does this mean? So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0 0.05, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. So the p-value is 0 0.002, suggests there is a significant difference in the density of Bellis perennis in the four grass areas we investigated. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the programme to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.